Hey, how's it going, y'all? It's Don, and today, well, today it's all about the Yaw VR2. That's right. So, tomorrow morning at 9.30, Yaw is launching their second Kickstarter, and man, I couldn't be more excited for this. So, for those of you who watch my channel, you know about six months ago, Yaw sent me their first generation device, and ever since they did, I haven't been able to get my butt out of that bowl, guys. I, I tell you what, this is, for me at least, the missing link, man. I Putting the visuals together in virtual reality reality and then adding motion to it man it did something and something snapped inside my brain and it has taken me deeper down the rabbit hole than I have ever been and you guys know I've been doing VR for over 25 years I have never ever felt levels of presence like that flying fighters in DCS or you know playing some Star Wars squadron or driving high-performance cars it, it, it is just nuts how real it feels so for those of you who have watched the channel you guys have seen all those videos for those of you who haven't don't worry at the end of this video I'm gonna throw together a little highlight reel of everything that I've been doing in the simulator up until now but we're not here to talk about the old simulator we're here to talk about the new simulator so like I said tomorrow morning at 9 30 they are launching a Kickstarter for the Yaw VR 2 and they are gonna have some incredible super early bird pricing so if you're interested man get ready to start smashing F5 like crazy tomorrow morning and you can jump in and hopefully grab a base unit for the simulator, just, just the top unit, not the spin, but uh, just the, the, the top with the chair that allows you to pitch and roll for 790 bucks. Then they're gonna have some early birds on the actual yaw unit. So you put it all together and you've got a full three DOF simulator. Now, you guys know I love my yaw, but the biggest drawback of the first generation was the bowl. I mean, I'm a big guy and I've got a really bad back. I've have had three spine surgeries. So sitting in it from time to time, that's why you always see me with a pillow behind me in it. It, it, it just got a little uncomfortable. Well, as you can see here, the new design is just elegant, man. You can pick your own gaming chair or you can add their cool gaming chair that has the lights on it. Um, and, and now you're going to really be able to get in the zone and be comfortable in the simulator, which is going to allow you to play for even longer. And of course, the biggest thing that, that the Yaw One really had problems with was the wheels and pedals for a lot of the racing setups, because a lot of people want these simulators for racing. I'm more of a flying guy myself, but the times that I have done racing games, I really enjoyed it. However, on the first gen, well, my wheel and pedals were a little heavy, so I literally had to hacksaw them to get them to fit and to reduce the weight. Now, with the new simulator, it doesn't look like that's going to be a problem anymore. They've got a huge table that you can put all your peripherals on, so everything's going to fit. The footrest looks much wider. So finally, you sim racing guys are going to get some love from the Yaw team. Now, for flying, oh my god, this thing looks like it is going to be amazing. It has has an expanded range of motion so you can really pitch back and just feel like you're taking off into the stratosphere and uh, that that right there guys I tell you is an amazing feeling when you're flying a plane or if you're an elite dangerous and you really pitch that thing hard and it rocks you all the way back like that and you start feeling that rumble you can really hit some levels of presence that you've never even thought were possible so Short but sweet, I'm not going to sit here and blah, blah, blah. You guys are going to get all the information tomorrow. I just wanted to make you aware that this thing is about to come out. So I think we'll close out the video today with just some of my highlights and, and some of the fun stuff that I've been using uh, the Yaw for over the last six months. So that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Go over there, F5 the hell out of that page tomorrow, get you a super early bird. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, man, thank you so much. Enjoy the highlights. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. I had his ass.
<sighs> Gotta figure out how to arm my missiles. Whoa! Uh oh. Oh, did that? They just blew off my wing! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is wild. Well, this is. Oh man. Okay, so I highly recommend that anybody who suffers from severe motion sickness never try what I'm doing here. Um, because, oh man, you'd be losing your lunch right about now, but this feels amazingly real, and it's really starting to freak me out that I'm about to hit the ground, like, really hard. Oh, whoa, god, this is like, the pitch is like, really intense. I, I did turn it up just a little bit, um, because I really wanted to see how much this would work, but wow, oh. I can't tell you how real that feels. Oh god, I don't want to know how real this is going to feel. Hey. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Lord. Oh, oh man, that gets you right there. So you actually feel some G-forces. Whoa, whoa! Oh, that was cool how all the rumble just stopped. Whoa! But, uh, yeah, I drove all over this place today doing uh, Grubhub and, and, and uh, DoorDash. Yeah, there's there's Hammond's Tower. There's the stadium. That's MSU, where I used to work. You bastards. I'm not going to go there. Whoa, oh god, I love that feeling. Let's go right over Hammond's Field here. You notice I say Hammond's Tower, Hammond's Fields, because John Q. Hammond's owns the world. Or at least Springfield. See what rocket coaster is all about. Oh Jesus! Okay. Whoa! No, there's no. Oh Lord! Gee! <laughs> whoa! 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 Okay, this is more like flying. This is insane. I was not expecting it to go this fast. I mean, it, shit. It said rocket coaster. I mean, you know, what was I expecting? But whoa! Oh, that's nuts. So, all right, let's go. So I'm gonna go really slow at first and hopefully you guys can kind of see how the movements track here. But for me, I mean, I'm feeling like every little dip and, and bump, it's, it's just nuts. Whoa, oh, Ooh. Okay, sometimes when you get going a little fast, whoa, or, or you roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Get back, 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 all right. Or when you roll it, it like feels really cool. And then those little moments like right there where you lose, you kind of catch a little air and then you kind of feel the traction. I mean, it's, it's nuts how much this just adds and it's not really doing much as you see, it's just kind of rocking me back and forth a little bit. But having that, that feeling of the motion cueing with the visuals is in Freaking insane. Right, let's boost it. Whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, Lord. Okay. Whoa, that got me. That did actually get me a little dizzy. Um, okay, so that, like, I, 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 I think I've said it already. The, the feeling of losing traction, it, it actually, I don't know how it's doing it or if it's placebo. It's probably placebo probably me but stuff like that right there I, I actually feel like I'm losing traction but only in the back I, I, I don't know how that would work but it, it, it literally feels like I am fishtailing and and it's tripping me out <laughs>